right. So you're saying here that for the last shot, I think the only thing, I mean, there are a couple of things here, but it's not that bad. Actually, I like it. So this is cool. Love all this here. My main comment is this hand is super floaty. Just the way it kind of goes in and out and in and out and in. So it's very, like that's probably the most successful part. So you can keep this, you know, I would scale down those curves a lot, but there's, there's something very floaty about it. So even for something like that, you can shoot reference, you know, look at, you know, how do you behave? How, how does the arm move? And so that one's a bit funky. On your guy, you can probably cut in, you know, cut in on frame 13. There's no need to have that dead space. So it starts nicely on action there. That's all cool. I really like what you're doing there, here. And that look too. <coughs> Excuse me. I think what you could do here, my only thing would be is that it's cool how he starts to turn, but it feels like that moves down and the arm moves down and the head moves down and it's all as one. And I think it would be neat if when he's like this, that may be on 105. Let's see how far back. No, not even now. 108. Start the head turn. So that one, two, three, that head is already the nose. Um, it's already a three quarter view to the left. And by the time you're here, the head is already almost looking at him. So it's more like a head snap, you know? He does the whole rrr, rrr, head turn over into this. So it's not just the body, it's fully leading with the head because you can smell him or something, you know? And then, same thing here, you want to cut in on like 122. I can actually cut this out. All right. There's too much dead space, it doesn't quite make sense there. Dex, you definitely want to cut on action. So if he's here, and even this, even this hand move is too long. It's basically, visually you want to go, <coughs> excuse me, Whew. looks at him. You could cut all of this. Let's pretend I'm cutting all of that out. Go back here. Whew. See, that's so much better. And, and they just need the energy of the head turn. Like I said, faster, turn around, he goes, holy shit, even then, like that finger stuff, it's almost too late, and you could still cut it out here. So if he turns around to here, cut even more. Yeah, I just need that faster head turn. Yeah, I like that. Definitely like that. So it will cut out at 133 and start at 122. So that way you just have a glimpse of the finger moving. See this? There's just that snap of holy shit, which goes into this. And even that goes into like, whoa. Like you don't want to resolve and stop. You want to end on the biggest move so that this feels like it's a continuing action is really freaking out and this is your freaking out moment so to me it's like here you want to cut out so he goes oh it's a bit early take this out let's go back yeah more like that so you cut out like 159, uh, yeah, 159. And the thing is also by the time you go here, we're really below center line. So you have to tilt down to follow the guy so that your composition is always, it's actually higher. Like your, your nose needs to be here and his eyes need to be here. I don't need to, I mean, the nose could be here and, and eyes could be here. It's to that, that way you get the full head in there. Um, but that is too weirdly centered, and then you go below center line there. Then I'm not quite understanding the bush here. I would take that bush out, keep the trees in the back, don't put a bush in there. You might say, well, that's why he turns around. I don't know, it's feels super weird. But you get one of those, you know, regular Maya characters, and you get this grass thingy there. I don't know. 
go take that out. It's cool. This is too low. So once you get into here, like from here on, set it here like 280 and go down so that we are framed higher, you know? You have to be here. And then when you cut to this, it also feels weird. Like we cut to this and you need to be at least here, you know? So that he continues, has all of that. And that's, you know, your framing continues on. And even though that, you know, is slightly off center and that way it can, it can move to the right, it'll feel better. And the only thing I would do here is then you're doing a translate again. Like don't do translates and there's no no movement in Z, like your cursor is too funky. Just kill, uh, you know, root, move the camera so that the framing is like this, like I said, and then delete all keys and just rotate in Y to follow those guys. And they might have to adjust the rotation of them how far they go. Like I like how they are here, but just do a rotation for a regular pan. And we can always add some handheld, but don't do any type of translate, no rotation in Z, just X and Y. And continue to move until the end, you know. And then watch out your IK arm at the end. What is it though? It's really in cool shape, I like it. And then go back to this one. Let's play it. What are you saying, Jerry? Three three people who aren't alive anymore because of me. Oh my god. Yeah, I know. I feel terrible about it. And I I really need your help right now. See, I'm not quite sure. I know we mentioned, we talked about this and everything, but seeing it here like that. I'm all about it. And I, I really need your help right now. Hmm. I still really wish we could see the face. You know? There's something about it where, A, it feels really go straight here and it starts to rotate around. As opposed to, like, getting that body a bit bit more like that and I wonder said nothing we can do to get that arm more like that so we do and maybe rotate the, the head up a bit and then you can put that other hand here maybe I don't know there's something like I wish we could see you know, get his hair here so we can see the face a bit more it's the only thing, I don't know, it feels like it could be really neat if we could see the face. I don't know. For the beginning... What are you saying, Jerry? Three, three people. So, it, like, you know, he has something where he makes that sound. Three, so you gotta start, you know, going to detail where it died. that comes kind of out of the chest mouth. You're gonna have to have something through here. Three, three people. And what? this, three, pe three people, like this is very locked, looking down. And I think, you know, all through stuff like this, you would have a slight rotation in the head, looking around a bit. There's a lot, a lot more complex stuff you can do with the head. Three people who aren't alive anymore. Because and especially if you weren't alive, like during a live, the volume really goes up. Three, three people who aren't alive anymore. Because like that means that your nose tip to me would be like up here like he really goes alive and it goes up and then moves around it's, it's much more agitated i think alive anymore because of me and then that feels good as he goes down on that sound oh my god yeah i know i feel terrible about it and i i really need your help right now yeah and then what i mentioned at the end which is not you know critical this is just this very subjective thing so if you prefer to do it like that and then play it up with the, the shake in the body and the tension in the head and like, you know, like you can get into uh, curling up fingers, those are my fingers, <laughs> into the hair, you know, and getting really tense and taking that hair around. You can also sell it like that. So I'm not saying you have to see the face. I'm just curious if you kind of need to play like that to make it much more uncomfortable. I remember that note one time, you know, when I said like you can just see the head resting on the table and then arms arms are uh, to the side to not make it like he can it's not like a soft head like you're the hands cushioning the head but make it really uncomfortable and weird um, but anyway 
Yeah, that's about it. It's up to you. All right. There's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right. Thank you.